What's up everybody? So I wanted to make a real quick video tonight uh, before it gets dark and it's about um, well it started out I just started thinking about like all the things that I can't control in life and I was watching Trump and all the news stuff and I was I was just starting to think that you know I don't know what to do about the Russians and, and North Korea and Trump and and all this stuff like there's so much stuff that's going on I don't know what to do about it but what I and, and you know it's out of my control it's like it's like most of the world's problems are like being d diverged between like 10 to 15 people and it's like the rest of us what are we doing we're just watching you know we're just watching and like waiting for for them to make moves and and stuff and it's just like it's like 15 people that are like doing this you know and it just it's just like you know I can't control that you know and it it it, it kind of drives me crazy and I used to like I used to think about like the end of the world and stuff and like all of a sudden like what if it was like World War 3 or stuff and I used to like pay my attention to uh thinking about that kind of stuff and and it, and it has it's dawned on me recently that it's out of my control and I need to direct my efforts elsewhere so that's the key to this video is directing your efforts elsewhere because it, it, it is about effort but it's about the the right effort the effort in the right place like I could do I could I could put so much effort into being a computer in, engineer and at the end of the day I guarantee you I would be the worst computer engineer ever ever because I don't love it, you know, and I'm not, I'm never going to love it, but I could direct my effort towards that, and I could try every day for a year to learn uh, Pascal and, and all the languages and uh, C Sharp and learn all the language and do it all, you know, but I would, I would be terrible at it because there's kids right now that are like 14 years old and they're like wah, 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 writing programs for like Microsoft or something, you know, so that would be a bad choice on my decision, but right now, where do I direct my efforts? I direct my efforts into something that I'm good at, something I know I can I can be good at and I love, which is the gym and and you know and uh, monetizing social media with with positivity and fitness material and stuff. So I'm directing my efforts there. So that is just an example of of what I recently have done because I've made this decision. Um, but so I just want to talk a little bit about some things that I found here. So. Um, you know, it's 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 your attention moment to moment. You know how you spend how you spend each moment because this is what you have control of right now. You have control of your day, or I mean, of your year, your day, well, your month, your week, and all that stuff. But your hour, your second, all the way down to your second, you have control of. You can choose to do whatever whenever you want, and so this is what you do have control of: your seconds of your day. So how you spend your attention moment to moment. What do you think about moment to moment? What are you jumping to? Boom, 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 boom. This is what I'm thinking about. You know, so that's how I break down everything. I really, I really analyze everything into moments, into seconds, literally seconds. I had no seconds to spare. I am fighting every day, fighting against the light so I can, I mean, not like against the light of good, but like, you know, against the dying of the light of the day. Because I, I, I'm trying to squeeze every second of this day out that I have. And I want to still get a good night's sleep, you know. Because otherwise the next day isn't very productive. So, um, I got a story for you real quick. And it's going to tie this whole thing together. It's, real, it's a real quick story. So, um, there's this ship, right? There's this big, big industrial ship. And the engine is broke. Okay, now all the guys, all the crew members, they're like, you know, like, I can fix it. Let me go down there. Knock, 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 knock. And they're not doing anything. Nobody's doing anything. So the ship, the ship guy, the captain, he calls up some professionals and he's like, yo, my ship is broke. We have to get this up and running. Otherwise, we're going to, we're going to run, our business is going to go down or whatever they're doing. They're, something's going to go down. It's not good. It's not good. We need the engine to run. And so they call other people, and so the first guy comes in and fail. He failed. He couldn't find what was wrong with the engine. Second guy couldn't find what was wrong with the engine, you know. And these guys, 
there were a bunch of these guys kept coming and not knowing what the engine. And finally, the the captain was like, "We need someone that actually is a specialist, specializes in engines, not some guy that does carpentry, has a carpentry business, and works on cars on the side or works on engines on the side. We need a specialist." So they call up this old man. He's been working on engines his entire life. He's a specialist. That's where he put his effort. You know, that's what he's good at. So they hire him, right? And he comes and he's looking at the ship, looking at the ship, and he's takes like a couple of hours, you know, with his tool bag, walking around the ship, just identifying, trying to figure out what the engine is and, and grab the whole the whole of the engine, you know, and he's and he's looking around, looking around, does this for like two hours. And then finally, he's like, oh. And he grabs his little hammer, little itty bitty hammer about this big, and he starts tapping in this one spot. Tap, 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 boom, stops tapping. And he's like, start the engine. Boom, 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 boom. The engine's running. He got the engine to run. Now, why do you get the engine to run? Because he's a specialist. But that's not the point of the story. The point of the story is, is that he closes his shop up. Zip, zip. All right, your, your engine's fixed. I'll send you the bill in the mail. Okay? And the captains are like, yeah, woo, the engine's fixed. Let's go. They get the bill in the mail. And they're like, they open the bill, it, open the bill, and it says $10,000. And they're like, $10,000? I got to pay you, I got to pay this guy $10,000 for fixing my my engine and he only spent like, he did literally no work. He spent like two hours looking around the engine and literally did nothing. He didn't do anything. And he called the old dude back and he was like, yo, old dude, um, you did a great job fixing my engine, but I need an itemized list. I need you to tell me exactly why this is $10,000. This is ridiculous. And so the old man, he's like, okay. I'll send you one, okay? So he sends another letter, and they open it up, and they're reading it, and it says, it says, $9,998 is for knowing where to tap, and $2 is for tapping the hammer. So he, he charged $2 for the tapping of the hammer, and $9,908 because he knew where to tap. You know, so that just shows you that it's, it just ties it all up that it's your effort of where you're going to put your effort. Those guys, those, those other guys were symbolism for not knowing where to put their effort. They were, they were banging on this, banging on that, tightening ropes they didn't know were tightening, and, and they didn't, they were doing nothing literally productive for the engine. And that all it needed was that little tap, 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 tap. So knowing where to tap, that's the whole point of the story. Point your effort and what you're good at, what you what you already know you're good at, what you already know you like. It's not, you know, just make a decision. Okay, one more story that is really cool. Um, I heard it from Eric Thomas a couple months ago. He's a motivational speaker, great motivational speaker. You should check him out if you haven't. But um, he uh, he tells this story. He's, he's with Warren Buffett, right? Everybody knows who Warren Buffett is. He's like the richest man, and um, he's like the most successful stock portfolio manager ever to exist so he's a beast and he's got a lot of money and he's talking to Warren Buffett and he's like you know Warren Buffett's like so uh, I just bought coke coca-cola the company coca-cola and everybody in the room's like okay so <laughs> so what and he's like yeah and then they're like okay uh, I got a question Eric Thomas is like why'd you buy coca-cola you know, this is the richest man in the world. He's obviously got some reasoning for what he's what he's done, and he says, "Well, Coca-Cola sells 1.7 billion servings of their Coke products a day. A day, 1.7 billion servings a day, and so uh, everybody's like, yeah, that's a lot." So you got a company that sells a lot of Coke. Cool. And then he's like, and I raise the price a penny. I raise the price of each unit one penny. So now this dude is making so much more money because they sell 1.7 billion servings a day. You raise one penny on each 1.7 billion, you're looking at a lot of money. Okay, that's the point of the story. Direct your effort into a right place. You could spend all your time all your time on something that's that it is so hard and that you can put so much effort into and you can build it up to be so effort 
you know, you can put so much into it and then literally it does like the littlest thing ever. It has this much result. Or you can put some smarts, some specialization and a little bit of effort and you can have a big result, okay? So specialize your effort, be sure you're doing what you're good at and I think I got my point made on this uh, this spiel that I got going, okay? So I will be talking to you soon. Stay positive and persevere.